Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. My name is Bonnie North Grace, and this is another episode of Jazz Story Time. Uh, today we're going to talk about a tune that has no known release date and no known composer. Golly G. Uh, this lovely little song is called Careless Love. So, without further ado, as we do, let's jump into it. Ba 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 piano cam. All right, uh, we're gonna do this in the key of G with a big D7 chord to start it off. There you have it, there's the song. Uh, so this song has no release date and no composer or lyricist. And uh, nobody really knows why. Part of it was that there was such an early, um, it was such an early time in the jazz history. It was really the beginning uh, when this was being kind of created and developed. Um, this was a song that was regularly played by Buddy Bolden. Um, and if you're a jazz fan or historian or anything like that, you know there's no recordings of Buddy Bolden um, because his his legacy, his time happened before recordings were a thing that were easily accessible anyways. Um, so yeah, legend has it this was regularly played by Buddy Holden. Buddy Holden? Buddy Bolden. Buddy Bolden. Um, the fun thing about this song is because nobody has taken or can take credit for it, is that the lyrics can vary from performer to performer. So when you go and see a jazz show, check out the lyrics that that performer sings of this song. It's probably quite a bit different from a bunch of other ones. You can have a collection of careless love lyrics that you pick up and then you make your own. You can sing your own version of this. Um, but the idea with this is that you're singing about a lost love or being careless with love, or something kind of sad that has to do with love. Yeah. So, uh, 1921, W.C. Handy uh, released a version of this called Loveless Love. Um, and Handy denied having any help composing it, but there's some people who credit this also to Spencer Williams, I believe. Um, some nice recordings of this. There's a Bessie Smith and Louis Armstrong recording from 1925. Uh, there's a Sidney Bechet and Bunk Johnson recording from 1945, and uh, a George Lewis recording from 1953 also. So you can check those out if you want to hear some different versions of this song. All right, so to wrap things up, I'm going to show you my version of this song. Um, the idea with this, because the form is so short, is that you come up with lyric after lyric after lyric, and you kind of, it's a story song, right? You can tell a story about how your love went wrong or what you're doing or how you ended up out on the streets with no love. I'm not going to go through all that because we'll be here for a month of Tuesdays. I mean, we might be here for a month of Tuesdays anyways. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a couple, maybe even just one. We'll see. We'll see. You'll see. You never know what happens. It's going to be a surprise. Anyways, I'm going to keep this in the key of G. Because it's a nice key to sing in. Yes, it's love. Oh, it's love. Careless love. It's love, 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 careless love. You made me weak. Oh, you made me blue. Can't you see what careless love?
song. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Bonnie Northgraves, and I'll see you next time.